this video and hanging out with me. We just got back from a family reunion trip. My entire husband's side of the family. We all got together. It was so great. But we got home like 2 o'clock in the morning last night. And you know when you get home, there's like nothing to eat. <laughs> so I'm going to go right now to the grocery store. I'm going to take my daughter with me. I forgot my phone, so she's getting it for me. I'm going to buy some groceries, go to Aldi, kind of like restock the fridge a little bit. You know like that day back from vacation, from a trip, whatever. It's just... It's just like settling back in. But it was so nice to come home and make a cup of coffee on my home machine, sleep in my own bed. I don't know what it is, but there's like nothing like coming home to your own bed and your own coffee. Even though the coffee we had there was absolutely amazing. But before I kind of started all those shenanigans, I did want to briefly talk about my previous video. If you watched it, it was kind of like a faith chats talking about um, basically the importance of surrendering everything to God. One thing that I noticed is if you watch that video, it might seem like um, I was doing like an ending video to my channel, like maybe I'm going to stop doing content or I'm going to do like a huge shift in my content. And that wasn't necessarily the case. I just really wanted to share some thoughts of encouragement. The ultimate message of that video was that God wants all of you. He gives good gifts to his children. He is a good father. He wants to give good gifts to his children. But in everything that you do, he wants to be a part of that. He wants your heart you know we want these things and sometimes we want them more than God God can be a part of everything that you do and all that you do do it as for God not as for people and that includes you know the little things the things that we think like oh this is not important but if you make him a part of it you can see blessing through that you know that that was the main message it wasn't that this is bad I'm not gonna be doing this because social media takes you away from God it's a heart issue it's not it's not the things is the heart and God wants the heart. That was the ultimate message of that video is I feel like God just wanted my heart fully. And yeah. So with that said, we're gonna buckle up and get us some groceries. I also have some boxes I have to return because I, uh, I have to fix my seat, but um, I have to return their homeschool materials because we are done with homeschool. We finished right after Memorial Day weekend, like the last week of May. So we've been done for a while, but I just have to return their DVDs because I read the DVDs for BJU homeschool press um, but there's like four heavy boxes I don't know if Luis can help me so we'll see maybe I'll have my husband do it but we do need groceries. Aldi has these seasonal drinks if you've never tried them it's these right here there's strawberry mint peach and then I think like peach mango they're a sparkling probiotic drink they're so good they also carry uh, poppy type drinks like strawberry vanilla and like a root beer one those are really good very similar to the poppy strawberry vanilla I'm trying to open this without breaking my nail but these right here are one of my favorites. Every time they have them, I'll buy like a whole box, which is what I did. They are just so good. But I got everything that I needed and then some. I decided to kind of like meal plan on the go as I was going. I got like salmon. I want to do salmon and asparagus. I got some chicken. I want to do like chicken and broccoli. And then we love doing homemade crunch wraps. Those are like my husband's favorite. He always has me make them for him before he goes to work. So I got some ground beef. They have like the organic ground beef, which is really good. I think I'm gonna make that when I get home and I'll show you guys how I do it. It's like super easy. And I get everything at Aldi. But it ain't over till it's over. You can cut the darkness with a flame. A single word can bring you closer. Break the silence with a whisper There comes a swift and gentle wave zone to cardio I've been talking to my sister in Latina and she told me about zone 2 I never looked into the zones but once she told me a lot and explained it to me I was like you know what? I'm gonna look into this further and I feel like I really want to incorporate that into my weekly exercise routine maybe like four days a week three days a week for like 30 or 60 minutes the problem is I get really bored so I decided okay I'm while I do that I'm gonna listen to like sermons YouTube videos of like biblical questions and things like that. Mike Winger is a really great channel if you want 
to watch that. Um, there's just so many great sermons you can listen to online on YouTube that can fill that time up. So you're kind of using your time wisely. I feel the pain from the same perspective. Ephesians in chapter two, where we see all three of those things. I am making myself another cappuccino. Actually, I think this is cappuccino number three because I had an iced cappuccino or iced latte. Because I just fell asleep on the couch for like 15 minutes, maybe 10. I don't know. It's like you know those cat naps. I rarely take naps, but sometimes whether it's like the time of the month is getting close or whatever, I don't know what it is or what causes it. But sometimes I just get like so tired. I also took out the salmon and asparagus because I'm going to make this for dinner. Today I was kind of like just having all of these thoughts of, to be quite frank, where to take my channel going forward, what to share, just like all of that. Oh, he took his um, thingy out, his little, what do you call it? What do you call those things, Aviana? Like the sunroof thing on the RV? Anyway, back to what I was saying. I was thinking of like all having all these thoughts and then a thought hit me right now. I was like, I was like so tired took a cat nap and I'm like man I do not want to make dinner um, all day I've kind of like been praying like God direct me lead me let me not get lost in things and I just want to do things that you, you know go in the direction that you want me to go and then God I want you to bless what I'm doing obviously you want God's blessing in what you're doing and then as I was saying oh I don't want to make dinner like trying to take shortcuts I thought came to my mind like how can God trust you with more if you're not stewarding like the little that he has given you and I get it sometimes you know you have kids you're tired whatever different seasons of life but this this right now was just pure laziness it was just pure me being lazy and there was like no other reason other than being lazy and I was like snap out of it steward what God gave you and steward it well so that he can trust you and it could be in little things like being faithful in little things there's just like a random a random thing that came to my mind that I wanted to share but back to making my cappuccino because we need to, you know, get it together. I'm boiling some water for the rice. I'm gonna do like a cup and a half of rice because it always tastes better fresh. Some garlic powder, my sister does this and it tastes pretty good. Some olive oil, or you can do butter. I mean, this is just how we do it. And then the water once it boils. I let my kids watch the boxcar children. We were listening to the audiobook while we were driving from visiting family in Missouri. It was like a 12, 13 hour drive. So I turned on the boxcar children for them and then I asked to watch it. But I'm gonna self tan right now. I'm gonna add some color. I'm not gonna self tan my face. I still have makeup on. I'm gonna do that after I do my skincare. But what I started doing is I used to be a super avid nighttime self tanner and then I'd sleep in the self tan. But I don't know. I just feel like I kind of grew out of that and I feel gross sleeping and marinating in it so I what I've been doing lately is I'll apply self tanner and I'll apply it when I know I won't need to you know use water a lot because you don't want to get water all over your hands and ruin it and things like that so I'll apply it around the time frame like right now we just had dinner like I'm not gonna be washing dishes I already washed all the dishes um, so I'm gonna try for like five hours after an hour or two you can wash your hands in the tan will so kind of develop that's what I do that way the hands don't look too obvious so that's kind of how I have been self tanning and I saw a TikTok of a girl that recommended the Loving Tan 2 Hour Express with Bondi Sands Arrow. This is light medium, she uses dark and I think she has the Express one as well but this is the one that I already had and combining these two formulas for like a really beautiful color. She's very light skinned as well and I love the results so that's kind of what I've been doing. So what I'll do is I'll shake both of them up, open them. I'll do, depending on the body part, how big it is, you know, you might have to do more or less pumps, but I'll do like one, two, three, whatever. This one is more brown toned and it leaves a really beautiful guide color. This one is more green toned, like it's super green, gloopy monster type. But they're two very different tans and the, this one dries really fast, no stickiness whatsoever. This one does have a little bit of stickiness, so I feel like it's a great combination of that as well. And then blend it in let me actually let me apply it on my legs and i'll show you guys what it looks like here is the after of applying it with the guide color it's not going to stay this tan i love the guide color of loving tan on its own but i feel like with the bondi sands combo it just leaves makes for a really nice color and then the longer you leave it on the longer it's going to develop and the darker it's going to be 
but I'm just gonna leave it on for like four or five hours for a natural color. But anyway, I am gonna finish this vlog series here. I hope you guys had fun hanging out with me virtually, and I hope to see you guys in future videos.